this is such a weird angle to see myself at. It's kind of casual. It's like, hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I need to do my roots. Oh my God, look at that. Attractive. Got some roots. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wigging Out with Bobby Z, hosted by me, Bobby Z. Wiggy Weavy Wednesday, and it's not a tutorial today, and I'm sorry you guys. Like I said in my video last week, the whole doing a tutorial thing is kind of contingent on me having a project to do, and today, for once, I don't have a project, so I'm going to do a little makeup collection and organization storage video. I've seen lots of people do these videos, and some of these people have rooms dedicated to makeup, and, you know, or some of them have just a crazy desk, or they have all these drawers and everything, and I'm just like... How can you have that much makeup? <laughs> to me, it's like, how do you have that much makeup? I mean, granted, this is my big room of hair. So technically, makeup, people have a whole room dedicated to makeup, and I have a whole room dedicated to wigs and hair. So I guess it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. I guess one addiction, another addiction. It's kind of the same thing. So I decided to do a video of my own. I did do a video a while ago when I got this bugger over here of how I organized it. It's since changed like 15,000 times. I still haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm doing with him yet in this area yet. As you can see, it's kind of different every time I'm on camera. And that's kind of just me trying to figure out what I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> So this is, this is going to be my little makeup storage organization collection thing. It's, it's also going to be a review of the thing that I use to keep it all together and corral it in one place. I don't have that much makeup. I've only been doing drag, drag, like real drag for about a year now. Um, it'll be a year in April. And before that, I did drag like once a year, if even, for like Halloween. So I had makeup, but I didn't have good makeup. Um, I still don't have good makeup it's because I don't do drag that often, so it's kind of not worth it for me to spend the money on the makeup aspect of everything. But with brushes and stuff, I've invested in, in decent brushes as well. It'd be fun um, to learn a little more about makeup and start doing that as well. So I've started investing in good brushes, but you know, product only lasts so long before it expires and goes bad, so I don't want to spend the money on the good stuff quite yet when I'm still learning and figuring it out. Does that make sense? Hmm. I can put all my makeup related stuff in one big large caboodle on wheels with a handle thing. I had to point out the stuff that I own that isn't in my makeup case. That's just the stuff that I leave in the bathroom for when I actually feel like somewhat putting a face on, which for me is like two things. So what that is, is it is a Sephora corrector pen, which is like the little pen on one side and it's a little stick on the other side. Um, this is kind of old. I should probably get a new one. Clear Mascara by number seven. Brand new, as you can see, they're brand new. It's a healthy skin blend in Clean 10 and the Physician Formula Green multi Press Powder Corrector. And... I like this because it gets rid of the, I have such redness in my skin and then I have red hair as well. So my skin always looks red. So I like to use a little light dusting of this and it kind of just breaks up that red. And I like to use, and I like to use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blend just to get rid of my shine. And it really does work. It really does absorb that extra shine on my face throughout the day. I like it just have the two brushes that I use for that. There's the e.l.f. powder brush, which is about to break. As you can see here, it's really, really flimsy right now. Um, what do you get? It's an e.l.f. brush. It was like a dollar. And then powder brush here from Essence of Beauty, which I don't think they even make these anymore at CVS. Um, it's really soft and fluffy, and I love it, and it's really good for dusting on or off powder. Okay, and so this is my case. It is, oop, turn it this way. Um, it is by Glad King. Um, I'd never heard of this brand before. I got this at IMATS last year. It wasn't crazy, crazy expensive, maybe $200. I don't remember. Um, and back here it has the little handle. And I'll move my camera down so you guys can see. So this portion here is um, 
one piece, and then this line and above is another piece. It separates, and there's also a spare top for the bottom, so you can carry them separately. Has a little handle here, and then it's also on wheels, so it does spin and it does roll. Kind of moved my camera situation down a little bit so you guys could see this a little better. So this is just the top portion. I separated it from the bottom portion and it latches just with two of these guys right here. And then th these are also the same things that hold the bottom to the top portion. And there is a little lock guy here so you can put a small padlock on these so to kind of safeguard your stuff. It opens like this, so you guys can see how it opens. It just splits down the side, and then there are two guys here in the middle. They open like that. This right here is my lip area, and I have a pack of lip tar here, trial size. I still haven't really played with these guys yet. Um, I have three MAC lipsticks right here. I have a whole bunch of Sephora lipsticks. I love their long wear lipsticks. I think they're really great for the price, and then I have a extra, extra long wear gloss thingy. I forgot what that's called. And then I also have like these three cheapy, cheapy lipsticks, which are by The Tools, which is a brand I've never even heard of before, but they were like on clearance and they were very pigmented, so I bought them. And then I have an LA Colors lipstick. And I got it at a girlfriend's wedding shower. It was one of the little gifts that was in the little basket that we all got. And then I have two Black Radiance lipstick palettes here. They're really dusty. I had a, um, a powder explosion recently. And as you know, some of these more velvety containers can kind of like suck up that powder. I hate it. So I have two of these. Um, again, I don't know. I don't even know if they make these things anymore. I have the Sephora Artist lipstick palette, which honestly, you can see I used like two of them. Like I just never got around to ever playing around with this. Um, but you know, it's one of those things where I always forget that I have it because it's in my kit. So I need to start playing around with what I have before I start buying more. So that's my lipsticks. This one is kind of like my catch all little pocket here. I have um, a little spray bottle with toner in it, a pair of scissors, I have two eyelash curlers, I have eyeshadow primer potion, some little alcohol swabbies. And I have two NYX things I haven't gotten around to depotting yet. I have an illuminator and a matte bronzer here that I really love. I think they're really pretty. And then in this pocket here is kind of loose eyeshadows that I haven't gotten around to depotting yet, as along with other products I haven't gotten around to depotting yet that I like to use. And I also have my gel liners and my highlighters in here as well. So I have a NYX, you know, primal color and black. I have some no name stuff from iMats that's black and two that are brown. I have a Matisse Elite black star frost that's really pretty. And then I have one of these uh, color tattoo eyeshadow Maybelline things and I haven't used it yet. I've wanted to try it um, but yeah I haven't gotten around to it yet. And then over here I have two Kryolan gel liners. I have an, a Coco and an Ebony. Got those in iMats too. I have, then I have the Overshadow by The Balm. Work is overrated and No Money, No Honey, which are here. I like to use those as a highlight on my face. And if you guys have watched the Miss Fame makeup tutorial, she's the one that told me about it, and she uses it all the time. Check it out. That's the most amazing makeup tutorial ever. And it's my drag sister, and I love her. Now you guys can see I kind of turned it so you guys can see a little better. Um, so now I'm going to open it this way. And you can see I already went through these top two drawers with the really weird angle that I had before. So now this drawer here is lip glosses. And as you can see, I have a lot. Um, I have ones by Milani. I have a Sephora one. I, ha I have these two from Swagger. I have some Wet n Wild, of course. I have some Black Opal. I have some Smashbox, some NARS. Um, some Sephora. I used to wear lip gloss a lot in drag and then I realized that it's messy and it rubs off. It makes my lips look bad and my hair gets stuck in it so no gloss for me. So these are kind of just going unused. I should probably get rid of them soon just so I can make space for stuff I'm actually going to use. All my mascaras 
Um, I have a whole bunch of mascaras here. This is the one I mostly use. This is the Bare Essentials Buxom Mascara. I adore this mascara. I love it. I can do like three coats and my eyelashes are like so huge. I love it. But I also have, of course, some Great Lash. I have two other ones that I, just little tester guys from Sephora that I've not used yet. One's Urban Decay and one is Tarte. Um, I have some tweezers in here. I have eyebrow powders back here, and then I have a random NYX glitter palette thing. Like I said, I had a powder accident in here, and everything is like covered in a nice, fine mist of powder. So now we're getting into the bottom portion. Oh, so here I just have a small little travel thing of tissue. And then here I have the Ricky's Care Makeup Sponge. I love these sponges. They are so, like, dense that they don't, like, collapse on themselves when you're um, putting makeup on. It's amazing. I love them. They're great. I have some coffee filters in here, which if you guys have seen my videos before, I like to put my loose powder, face powder, so I'm not contaminating the big pot. And I also can kind of put out what I need and then crumble this up and toss it later. I have two little rings here that are lipstick rings. These little containers are pill containers. I got them at Ricky's. And these are just make lipsticks that I depotted. And then I put the label, if I was able to rip the label off on the bottom. And if I was not able to, I put a sticker. The Fresh Out Velux Pearl Fusion Shadow. I just got this. Um, my boyfriend works for Mac, so I get free stuff sometimes. So he gave me this. I think it's really pretty. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. But, you know, fun smoky eye in a box. I then have two things of Airspun Cody Powder. This one is translucent and this one's rosy beige. Um, I usually use the translucent one, but CVS stopped carrying them so that everything was 75% off, as you can see by the sticker there. So I bought just what they had, which was a rosy beige color, but it looks really nice on my skin, so I use it. It gives me nice warmth. I have my Z palettes over here, and then this side I have my other palettes. So these two palettes I got at the beauty show last year. If you go back and watch my beauty haul video, I'll link it right here. And if you've watched my makeup tutorial, I use these for my face all the time for contouring and for, you know, blush and stuff. I then have a Sephora color for colorful artist palette here, which I don't really use a lot. I need to start using it again, especially because I like these browns over here. I need to start playing around with him more, but like I said, he's down underneath everything, so I don't really get a chance to experiment with stuff um, because it's always down in the bottom. Then I have a Sephora Trio palette that has two purples that I used as my purple eyebrow when I did my purple hair. They're actually really good quality eyeshadows. I really like them. I have the three Stila palettes that I got at the beauty show last year, and they are in the light, in the moment, and in the no. There was a fourth one, the green one, I don't remember what it is. Wanted to get that when they were out of stock, Er, so I only have three of the four. I then have a little bottle of hand sanitizer here, which I'm going to use after I'm done with all of this because my hands are all gross. I then also have a spatula here, which I use this to depot lipsticks with. I kind of cut them off, and then I kind of scoop out the lipstick with this, and then I melt it, or I don't melt it, whatever. So on this side over here, I have my Z palettes. I have five large Z palettes, and I have two pro Z palettes. I love these guys so much. Number one, because they're a Z, so it's like Zlotnik or Bobby Pins with a Z. I love anything that has a Z on it, number one. Number two, they are so amazing. If you guys are, are unfamiliar with what a Z palette is, it's basically a magnetic palette that you depot. It means you take them out of the container, uh, the original plastic palette or container, and you put a magnet on the back of them, and you stick them in the palette. And I love them because they have this little window so you can see exactly what's in it. You can also fold that underneath, and you can use it like that as a palette. They're great for travel. You can put all of the, the stuff you're planning on using in one place. It's amazing. So I have my shadows and my face stuff split between the palettes. Kind of no rhyme or reason. It just kind of is that way. So this is my pinks, blues, 
purple and green palette for eyeshadows. This is my white, black, and gray palette for eyeshadows. As you see, I have a lot of room in this one. This is the highlighting and contouring disc thing from Sephora a couple years back. And then this is the same Neutrogena and Physician's Formula palette um, compacts I had out earlier, just depotted and hitting major pan. Maybe I should just toss those, you think? This is one of my bronzer palettes. As you can see, I hit major pan on one of them. Um, these are like a whole mix of things. This here is some of my blushes. And again, I have room to grow. This is, this is just my square blushes. I have my round blushes in the pro palette down here. These are my two pro palettes. This has my round, this one has my round blushes in it. And as you can see, one of them crumbled. So I have to go in and do some damage repair in there. And then this is my neutrals and orange and yellow. Z palette. I have a Morphe brush eyeshadow palette, which I've used in several tutorials. I used it on my makeup tutorial. I used it on my adding roots to a wig tutorial. I really like this guy. It then also have the Morphe brush foundation palette. As you can see, I used this guy a little bit. Not really a huge fan of it. Last but not least in this box is my Sephora Pantone Universe palette here which looks like this. Lots of nice, fun, bright colors. It has a really, really big mirror, as you can see my computer there. Hey, computer, how you doing? So, yeah, I really love the mirror on this guy. So this is the bottom portion, and this is the lid I talked about earlier that you can use on the bottom portion so it's two separate pieces. Opens a little bit here on top and then this piece lifts out or slides out of your way. I have my loose glitters over here. In here I have my loose highlighters and extra I have a little Kat Von D trial size powder over here. I have my two bottles of Ben Nye. I have fair and I have white. And then over here I just have my Ben Nye cream foundations, which I use for my beard coverage, um, and also kind of special effects like blue and yellow stuff over here. I have some Makeup Forever Sense Eyes. I have some other little products in here. This is kind of my catch-all container, goes with everything I don't really know what to do with. This is also my on-the-go when I'm in drag. I puff and it has one of these makeup applicator guys, and it has a little bottle of spirit gum in there, and that's just for when I go out and drag. I just can grab this, throw it in my purse, and glue my lace back down when and if it flops up, because it always does. Here I have a little sample of Prosade that Chelsea Pierce gave me for my eyebrows, because my eyebrows are crazy thick. I haven't gotten around to trying it out yet, because I'm really scared. I have my glue sticks in here. I also have a small kabuki brush that I don't really know what to do with. I have some wax, and I have a little bottle of baby shampoo for washing brushes on the go. I then also have all of my loose shadows and my pigments in here. Over here, I have my skin stuff. So I have eyeshadow base concealers. So have little trial samples of Krylon foundations. I also have my skin primers in here as well. A little pocket here is my foundations. I have three black opal stick foundations. I have a Plixi one. I have a Krylon TV paint stick, finally. And then I have this one, which is Mayron. It's the alabaster. So then I have two Urban Decay guys here. One's an all-nighter and one is the D Slick setting sprays right here and then this guy pops out like that here is where I keep basically everything else I have some makeup wipes there's like one left in here there's a there's a full pack right here I then have my brush belt which is what I store my brushes in which is this guy here this is by Royal and Langnickel I think I bought it at the beauty show last year. I'll look on their website and put the link below if I can find it. I have a ton of makeup brushes, as you can see. And um, I'm kind of running out of room. I needed like a better system for my brush storage. What would you guys suggest? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you store your brushes. A little Cosette, which is um, when, I, when I was working a lot and I had to do my drag makeup away from home, I liked this to carry my brushes home with. And then in there is... In here is a little bottle, is my green marble 
face setting spray. I love it. The really, really, really big jug of neutral set powder. I love this stuff so much. Giraffe print thing. Um, this is by Sonia Kashuk, and this is from Target like 10 years ago. This is just where I keep all of my double-ended brushes so that they don't get ruined in my brush roll or smashed or anything. I like to keep them in this guy so they stay nice and good. Um, and honestly, I always forget that I have these, so most of them haven't really even been used. It's a big zippy pouch here. I have my eyeliner and my lip liner pencils. I have them each in a Ziploc bag of their own so I can keep track of what's what and also so I don't get my bag all dirty and gross. And then I also have inside of here, I have liquid liners on the bottom of the bag and I have a Ziploc bag full of sharpeners in there as well because you never know when you're gonna need one and I have literally like eight in there right now. And down here, I have three of those small container store boxes. I also have another pack of makeup wipes. These are by Studio 5 Beauty. I just remember these little boxes from my eyelash cleaning tutorial from a couple weeks back. So as I said in that video, I have my eyelashes in two different boxes. These are the ones that I have used before and worn, and these are the ones that are brand new, never been worn. I glue is also in here, so I have my weave glue, and I also have real eyelash glue, which I don't even know why I own it because I never use it. I always use weave glue. Um, I'm probably going to go blind one day from using weave glue on my eyes and whatever. Applicator guys. So I have, you know, some mesh sponges. I have powder puffs. I have wet sponges for like color cake makeup. I have other little fun applicator guys in here. And that's just kind of keeping them clean and organized and in one spot so I can find them easier. And then this is how it latches together. It has a little guy here, goes down and locks. Has another guy over here on the other side that goes down and locks. And then you can pick it up and roll it along on your merry way. That was all of my makeup and storage stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I have. Kind of do a review on my makeup case and what I think about it. Basically when I bought it, I didn't buy it to go you know, on location and go on shoots and stuff. I literally bought it to store my makeup in my apartment so I didn't have to have makeup everywhere and I didn't have to have several things throughout my apartment. I wanted one concise, large makeup container guy thingy and that's what I wanted to put all my makeup in. I kept in mind that I'm not really going to travel with this thing so I can let it get as heavy as I want it to with all my makeup stuff and it's fine because literally I roll it 15 feet from my closet into here to do my makeup or five feet from my closet into my bathroom to do my makeup, so it's not like it's really going that far ever. I would not recommend to buy this kind of product for going on location and doing a lot of shoots and stuff like that because it's cumbersome and it's heavy by itself. With nothing in it, it's pretty damn heavy. And there isn't anywhere on it to put like a shoulder strap or anything, so you literally have to carry it or roll it. Um, the wheels work decently, in my apartment so I would imagine that outside like in like the city or in the suburbs where you're not going to be on anything even that it's kind of going to get gunked up and break eventually I was actually going to buy a Zuka at IMATS and the line got ridiculous and I like walked away because I didn't feel like dealing with all these like crazy people and I went and bought that instead I was actually going to get the Zuka backpack I wasn't even going to get the whole Zuka rolly thing which now I'm happy I got this because this holds all my makeup, whereas a Zuka backpack, I wouldn't use it to store stuff with. It would be to tote things, so it would just sit empty. Whereas this is to store things, so... And I can possibly tote it if I need to. It's kind of a hassle, but I've done it. The one thing I hate about it, though, is that when I bought it, I thought that the little sparkles on it were rhinestones, and they're glitter. So you get glitter everywhere when you bring this thing with you, especially if you have to go upstairs and you have to like pick it up and like hold it against you. I had glitter all over my coat for like a week once because I had to carry it up like three flights of stairs. Ugh, so much glitter everywhere, not good. That's the one thing I hate about it is the glitter. So the glitter does get everywhere, it's messy. But besides that, it does what I need it to do and it does what I bought it to do. Um, but like I said, if you guys actually want to tote 
with these kind of things, or if you want to travel with these kind of things, I wouldn't suggest investing in something like this. Like, sure, it's hard shell, which is, like, ultimately going to protect your stuff better, but also these things are metal, and they're not... Uh, they're not like industrial airplane metal. They're just metal. So basically, if you knock this thing the right way or if you accidentally step on it or sit on it or something, you can bend it and it is basically going to be ruined because it's going to be impossible to bend it back in place. And especially with the lids and the closing and the latches and all of that stuff, it is so precise to like the millimeter. Like it's ridiculous. So if that gets bent out of place even just a little bit, it's not going to line up and it's not going to work anymore. So that's another thing to think about if you actually want to travel with your makeup stuff or your hair stuff. Usually what I do is I use a backpack and it's like this huge, ugly blue backpack that I got in college and it has like a laptop sleeve in it and, but it works for me. Um, I really need to find something similar, at least in black, because blue is just obnoxious and, like, unprofessional. So if I'm going to roll in with a backpack, at least I can roll in with, like, a black one and look somewhat professional and not, like, a high schooler coming home from school with my backpack that's, like, that big. You know what I mean? I also use a rolling suitcase a lot, especially if I have to do a lot of stuff or if I have to do wigs. A rolling suitcase is amazing because I can put all the heavy stuff like a block or a stand or my brushes, hairsprays, anything on the bottom. And then I can put the wig stuffed in bags on top in the top of the suitcase. So when it's standing up, the wigs sit on top of the heavy stuff and they're not going to get crushed. I had to bring this guy on set and leave it for like a week or like a month if I was doing the same work every day. That'd be fine. But for me to travel back and forth with it every day, mm, a little cumbersome and a little kind of difficult. So I would stick, I would stay clear of the heavy metal things for travel and transport of makeup and hair stuff personally. So, but that's my personal opinion. You guys do whatever you want to do, buy whatever you want. I can't tell you what you can and can't do. So just do what you want. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want me to do more stuff like this by giving me a thumbs up and leaving me some comments below saying, this is what we want you to do more of. Or... These suck, Bobby, stop. So, you know, kind of leave me comments, tell me what you guys think. Any questions, comments, or concerns, my email is info at bobbypins.com. The link is down in the box. On all social media, besides Facebook, I am wigging out BZ. Same as on here. On Facebook, I am facebook.com slash bobbypins. Always with a Z and an IE. So make sure you guys check out all of that fun social media stuff. They're all down below if you didn't catch that. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on Friday for another fun Friday video. Thanks!